Gaming Bolt presents 15 video game scientists who spectacularly try to screw you over. When you're aiming to be a villain or even just a major character in a video game, it really doesn't hurt to have a doctorate in something. There's quite a number of madcap doctors and evil professors running around in the gaming space, and unfortunately, they're out to screw you over a lot of the time, villain or not. The Hippocratic Oath to do no harm doesn't mean much when you've got a world to take over after all. Did we miss some of your favorite doctors that did you no favors? Well, tell us about them in the comment section below. Dr. Breen, Half-Life 2. When the Combine came down to take Earth, it was the diplomacy of Dr. Breen that ensured that the human race would survive, if as a slave race to the aliens. Or were his intentions so noble? The unsettling tone and persona of Dr. Breen and his convenient appointment to Earth's administrator by the Combine really lean into suggesting that the good doctor screwed you and all of humanity for his own selfish ends for ruling Earth, even if it is as a de facto leader. Dr. Samuel Hayden, Doom. Samuel Hayden is no ordinary doctor, actually he isn't even a human, not anymore, as he long ago shrugged off his squishy mortal form to become an imposing robot, in total control of the UAC Lazarus project on Mars. The one responsible for liberating, or perhaps unleashing the Doom Marine from his hell prison, Dr. Hayden is smart enough to realize that the Doom Marine really isn't on anyone's side, let alone the side of the guy who started messing with hell energy in the first place. Always one step ahead of the player, at the very end of the game, when the portal has been closed on Mars, Hayden takes what he wants from the Doomslayer and leaves him trapped in hell until he might need to use him again. I'm sure this sequel bait won't make for a happy reunion. Nolan Strauss, Dead Space 2 Unlike so many others on this list, Strauss is more of a pitiable figure than an evil mastermind with a pediatric MD. Under the influence of the red marker, the doctor slips ever deeper into insanity, haunted by visions of his wife and his daughter, which were killed by his own hands under his delusions. Isaac Clarke fought to keep him alive and bring him back, only to have Strauss lose himself completely and Clark be forced to kill him in self-defense. Dr. Wily, Mega Man Series Mad Dr. Wily has always been persistent, with a variety of plots from reprogramming his rival Dr. Light's robots to wreak havoc, to several times where he disguised himself or cohered another to do his bidding, to pulling a Blade Runner and talking robots into rebelling against their expiration date. One of his more heinous instances occurs in Mega Man 3, where the two doctors work together to build a gigantic peacekeeping robot before he double crosses Light and Mega Man by stealing it. Dr. Wily is also, in a slightly roundabout, post-humorous way, responsible for all of the dark wars that occur throughout the Mega Man X series. Dr. Brawn, Fallout 3 The great scientific mind behind the future tech garden, Dr. Brawn, was a major player in vault tech and developed a virtual world in which he would preside over and become more and more obsessed with as the years wore on. By the time the Lone Wanderer catches up with the psychopathic doctor, he spent nearly two centuries within his simulation, torturing the residents and repeatedly reviving them. Presenting as a young girl within his simulations and using the Lone Wanderer for his sadistic play, perhaps it's just karma that he leaves Betty trapped alone forever within the simulation. Dr. Neo Cortex, Crash Series. When the fauna of the Wumpa Islands is just lazing about all day and you're a mad genius bent on taking control of the world, well, the answer is just obvious, isn't it? Dr. Neocortex is the allegedly brilliant scientist behind the Evolvo Ray, from which he grows an army of buffed up animals to further his ambitions. Unfortunately, the Ray also created Crash Bandicoot. While we as players all saw it coming a mile away, taking advantage of Crash's stupidity in Cortex Strikes Back was really not cool. Cave Johnson Portal 2. Science isn't about why, it's about why not, according to the late Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Sciences, through the early days of the company while they experimented with the wacky, such as physics altering gels, to the insane DNA manipulation and mind transference, resulting in some terrifying body horror being suggested. His endless pursuit of the crazy might have led to some neat guns, but only for the people who came out of the tests still alive. Scarecrow. Batman Arkham Asylum Fear can be a powerful thing, even against the likes of the Batman himself. While Scarecrow takes on a more central role in Arkham Knight, the fans remember him best for how brilliantly Rockstar was able to screw with Batman and even the player. Scarecrow would sneakily dose Bruce at several points during the first game, which would usually send him into some surreal environment and reflection upon his past, such as seeing his dead parents. The player isn't immune either. 
with many getting caught by the false console crash and game restart. Dr. Catherine Halsey, Halo Series. The Spartan program was a big part of what saved the UNSC and Earth during the Covenant War, but the woman behind the program and basis for Cortana was anything but a saint for it. Dr. Catherine Halsey was the lead of the project and had hundreds of children kidnapped and surgically enhanced before being trained from a young age for war. Those who were lucky enough to survive the program would know nothing else, and the last surviving original Spartan, John 117, would be stunted from his loss of a childhood. Dr. Colress, Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. The totally detached Dr. Colress appears first in Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, working under, but not in allegiance with, the reformed Team Plasma of the time. His one and only goal is to research how to best bring out the full potential of Pokemon, and his methods rarely include the consent of the monsters he experiments on. Colress will even test the rival Hugh by presenting him with a completely feral Lyperd, the Pokemon he's been wanting to recover for his sister the entire game, and wishes to see if that bond can break the Team Plasma training. Huey Emmerich, Metal Gear Solid 5. There's no worse enemies to make than a militia for hire, but that's exactly what Huey Emmerich did through the Metal Gear Solid 5 saga. The crippled scientist played the long game with Venom Snake, helping XOF infiltrate and destroy his previous outfit, MSF. Then after going dark for a long number of years, fathers a child with another scientist from MSF, a scientist which he kills after she takes the child away from him when he wanted to use him for experiments, and then deliberately mutating a virus to destroy the Diamond Dogs. If there's proof of karma, it's that Huey's life never gets much better after they leave the man adrift at sea. Wilhelm Strauss, Wolfenstein The New Order Wilhelm Strauss shows up as the main antagonist of Wolfenstein The New Order, where the man is the head of the SS Special Projects Division and a really sick dude. The Doctor's creations are what led directly to the Nazi stranglehold on the world, and the man sees a sadistic pleasure from his work, at a critical point in the New Order, forcing BJ to decide who will live between two of his friends. Dr. Gerald Robotnik, Sonic Adventure 2 while everyone's favorite Eggman, Dr. Ivo Robotnik, is certainly persistent, he's mostly in total control of his mind and doesn't constantly apologize for his misdeeds like Wily. Representing the Sonic the Hedgehog series, we're going to have to call out Dr. Gerald Robotnik as far more crazy and someone who screwed the player way more. Totally losing himself following the tragic event that led to his granddaughter Maria being killed, Gerald programs his space colony research station to destroy the entire planet with a massive laser once it's activated, hoping to show humanity his pain and despair. Relias Clover, Blaze Blue Series. Formerly of the Ten Sages, Relias Clover is a husk of a man and a scientist without a shred of empathy for his fellow man, which he considers nothing more than things and a means to an end. In his ultimate goal to recreate the world as its architect, he would turn his daughter and wife into weapons and earn the unending hatred of his remaining son, who pursues him constantly. Professor Von Krippelspack, Conquers Bad Fur Day the genius inventor of anti-gravity chocolate, Professor Von Krippelspack in Conker's Bad Fur Day has seemingly never heard of creating a new table leg. All our squirrel friend wanted to do was find his way home, and everything Conker has to deal with during his Bad Fur Day is set into motion because this brilliant mind could only come up with using a squirrel as a table leg. Dr. Nefarious, Ratchet and Clank the wacky and wild Dr. Nefarious has his own problems, many of them thanks to Ratchet and Clank, not to mention the bumbling Captain Quark. The robotic mad scientist is still a top shelf mind, and has an uncanny ability to convince races and groups that he's on their side until they're no longer useful to him. With his butler Lawrence constantly at his side, his greatest accomplishment was nearly gaining access to the Great Clock and rewinding time to fix all of his mistakes, shattering the universe in the process. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.